Hi, welcome. Uh, my name is Zane Starr, and I wanted to talk to you about a problem that we have currently in the ecosystem. Uh, and that problem is how do we connect users of decentralized services with developers that are developing decentralized services? What I'm calling the decentralized service gap. So just a little bit of background about myself. Uh, I work in the ETC Labs core dev team where I primarily focus on tooling. Uh, prior to that, I worked on decentralized science fiction for consensus, and sort of throughout my career, I've had a focus on infrastructure and building services from everything to wireless sensor networks to working on big data problems for Groupon. And so to sort of frame this problem, uh, I wanted to open with this question. So, how many of us out there are running full nodes or using light clients to connect to dApps? Just a show of hands. How many of your users, if you're a developer, are using full nodes or light clients to connect? So just a casual look around. There's just one or two or just three hands popping up. And so you kind of really have to ask, why is this? And like, what is the problem? So as developers, we're always looking for a way to sort of avoid decentral, to avoid centralization. So if you look at the image on the left, we have this big blue like circle, and we have these red dots around it, and that's centralization, which is what we have currently today with the standard web. And what we really want is this decentralized network. And so we need ways to get users to actually run the services. So we don't have an image that looks centralized, but one that's decentralized. So that improves security. There's no central point to just disconnect the network. There's a host of benefits uh, to this. And so the question really is, is how do we get to this? So what are users really facing? Um, the problem is, like, what does it take to start uh, a service? And so here, um, I'm just trying to start Geth, and it's kind of hard, uh, even for a developer. And so uh, just for example, there are over 26 combined different arguments to just start uh, a network over across um, Parity or Geth or Multigeth, which is just too much of a cognitive load. And so what we really want is to allow developers to hit a that was easy button. So you hit this launch service and all of a sudden you're on a decentralized network. You're no longer um, going through this very centralized hub and you're just a part of this node. So the question is, is how do we get there and how do we bridge this gap? Because as developers, what we really want is this decentralized network. And as a user, what we really want is a that was easy button. And so I'd like to introduce you uh, what we've proposed as a solution to this, the Jade Service Runner, which is really a system in two parts. So what do we do? Well, the first thing you wanna do is give the user a that was easy button. So we have built an installation tool that allows the user to just go through and install a decentralized service, hit a button, and then launch and then select what network they want to run. So in this case, we've installed Multigaf with a single button press and then just started uh, Multigaf on the Kadi network. And so this provides an interface for developers to then connect to it. So again, we're trying to get to this point where we have uh, that was easy button. I don't really need to understand too much of the details of what went on, but I have control of it. So as a developer, what we've done is provide the tools to make it such that in five lines of code, you can simply start a decentralized service, prompt the user to install it. You can also request access to run it. And so what we have on the left is the code to do that. And on the right is a proposal that we have for the permissions to allow it. So it should be as easy as installing or running a, uh, an app on your phone. All right, so what is this actually doing? So we have our DAP on the left, 
service runner sits in the middle, which proxies requests to the underlying services on the background. So here we have classic GAF, parity. Um, and so uh, Shane and his talk before talked about Bitcoin nodes and being able to run these different services. Uh, what the Jade service runner provides is an interface uh, to make easy installation, uh, daemonization, so that means that the process that's running uh, is always kept alive, and access in terms of um, location and discovery for what an uh, individual user is running. All right, so what does the future look like? The future really looks like a modular synth, in our opinion. And so if we have generic, easily discoverable interfaces where there are lots of different components that DAP developers have access to, and you can just kind of plug these different things in, then you can make really interesting music, and it's discoverable, so it's accessible to all sort of developers. So practically, what does this look like? Uh, practically, the future looks like single-click installation, uh, easy access for uh, permissions, and peering between Jade service runners. So just to step through this very briefly, uh, we have a DAP that's just sort of a light DAP, and it doesn't actually have access to install a service runner. So it just runs a client, which connects to other people that are running service runners, which are all interconnected, which allows for service discovery. It uses openrpc.discover to allow this uh, DAP user to discover what's being run. And these service runners are tied to a decentralized registry, which allows for easy installation and the specification for how these services should be run. So here we have a local machine where a user is running one of these service runners and being a peer in the node. OK, so just to recap. The Jade service runner is filling the gap by providing programmatically discoverable APIs, single-click installation, and fire-forget daemonization of services. So the different work that we have to be done is work on the permissions layer. So I showed you this prompt for allowing uh, Adapt to install a service on your machine or to connect uh, and start a service. So that permissioning and like, how the identity system works still needs to be flushed out. Uh, we have peering, so a network protocol between Jade service runners to connect different users to different services that are running. So this is particularly useful if you had a network of side chains or relayers to connect to uh, the network. This would be a single click installation to allow users to provide or join L2 scaling solutions. Uh, the thing that Shane talked about earlier in his open RPC talk, the abstract service definitions. So imagine that it doesn't really matter what client that your DAP connects to, you just want an Ethereum client. So using open RPC, you make the specification that says, just give me an ETH client. So this is already an EIP, EIP 1901. And so what this allows for you to do as a developer is to say abstractly, give me a service that implements this description. And so you can go and do that, and the network will either install a service that meets that and allow you to start it and make a request. And the other thing is a decentralized service registry, which you can kind of view uh, as an app store for decentralized services. So I want to connect to um, Cosmos or something like that. So how do I do that? Oh, OK, cool. I can just uh, point to the Cosmos registry, and then I can say, OK, I'll download the configs for this, and then button click, you're done. So the other thing that we're kind of thinking about, but we haven't really solidified, is support for bridging between JSON RPC and GraphQL, or bridging between JSON RPC and gRPC. So I'd like to invite you to help us move things forward and build awesome tools that improve interoperability, 
help L2 scaling solutions, and really help us build a decentralized network. So check out our docs at Jade Builders, uh, OpenRPC, and the Jade service runner code base. Pull requests are welcome, and we're gonna do a workshop today. So stop by and let's build all. Okay. Thank you.